Hi everybody, this is Mary Flower, and uh, I've been thinking about this uh, project that I'm going to show you here for some time now. Let me get this camera straight. And uh, I wanted to do something really fun with um, all of my um, jelly plate printing, and this is kind of what I have left over, and I had stacks of my jelly plate printing, and I thought... I've been and I've been adding it up and making more and more on purpose because I have wanted to make a very very whimsical book. But before I show you the inside, I want to show you. Um, I chose this um, journal. This is kind of what inspired me. It was not journal. It's a child's book, and I get a lot of children's book from the library that I they sell out pretty cheap. I wait until they're a quarter a piece and things like that. But I love the colors in this. And um, this is just the dust cover. This is the actual book. It has some stuff on it, but I'm probably going to cover a lot of this. But as you will see, I made this book a lot heavy, a lot thicker because I put... Um, because I'm going to need a lot of room, and I'll show you this. What I did was I cut my pieces of um, my jelly plate printing into really odd shapes and so forth to make all of the pages. I made three signatures, and I have just made it wild. As you can see, I made all the pieces really uh, unusual and what I wanted it to do was when I opened the book the colors would all pop and I'll show you I'm going to go through this I'm this is not finished it's far from being done and I'll let you know what uh, I'm using this for but I've made some pockets in different places here too and uh, I'll show you that as I go along I'll use this little and I'll show you what I'm going to be putting in there. There's a lot of different places for pockets. And what I wanted was, as you work through the book, that it is just as colorful either way. I really like the colors that were already in the front and the back of the book. And I add uh, other little things. But I like it so that, as like I said, as you're turning all these pages, the color pops in both directions and so you have to think about it i use paint i use some washi tape this is about oh uh you know 14 inches tall and about 12 inches the other way and i've made it about three inches thick and so i've used all my funny little pieces so that if you notice the colors it has a depth this way and it has depth this way and i've made a lot of pockets here to put things in there's some there's one here and there's a little one here and some of them are just little um funny pieces that turn in here <clears throat> and here's a pocket right here here's a pocket right here and another one right here and I, the color is just crazy i love the colors here there's another pocket and you can see that the colors uh, both ways are going to... I'll even have things sticking out this way too as I go along. Now this one, um, I liked it because I had several little grandchildren that made me little mermaids. And I've put them on this page and I've made these great big tentacles. If you can see this, that fold out. Let me see if I can show you. There's one that way. And... I put a lot of work into this. This is a lot of fun. And I've used all of my jelly plate printing on all of these uh, pages. I also like the color cranberry, which I use along the edges of things because I, it makes it stand out. Then I have this little place right here. I also have another tentacle here that folds out. Let me see if I can move it this way so you can see. And this tentacle folds out this way so fun. And I also ran some of this through my Sizzix that gives it uh, like an embossed. I picked the appropriate one. This is sort of embossed. And so 
I'm also going to add a couple more uh, mermaids in here, but uh, this was a page where I wanted to put sea creatures that the little girls, the little girls would like to do them especially, and so I wanted to do that page. And so all of my pages, I've le I've left some of them because I haven't put pockets because I will be putting pictures on here. I love my children and grandchildren. They're funny, uninhibited art, and I wanted a place to put a lot of this and you'll see what I'm doing as I go. Here's one right here. My little granddaughter made this funny little ga little guy. I put them, I cut them out. I either redo them as I'll show you, but I, I glue them onto a black to reinforce it and also to outline it. And it sort of just keeps in the colors that I have here because black and white is kind of a, is really a nice neutral thing that I've done on the edges to keep the colors really fun. Now, like I said, I'm only part done with this, but I wanted to go sh show you this, what I've accomplished already. And I'll show you how I'm going to be putting uh, things in here. Now these are two little, oh, kind of like Yoda pictures that one another granddaughter made for me. And I really like, see, I've just put this one, I've glued it in. Some will be in the pockets. I'll be, you know, appropriate places in the pockets. And some I put right on the pages. Now, I love this page because the color on both sides is so beautiful at this point. And this is in between two of the signatures. And I put this, uh, I had this beautiful piece of paper, which I like to use a lot of watercolor paper. And either I let my grandchildren just, you know, color crazy on it, or I color it with my hands or spray paint, but I use a lot of watercolor, but there's other kinds of paper in here too. But I love the way this pops, the colors on both sides. And I like to use different kinds of shapes in here as well. Now, you only see in one side of this, but by the time I'm done with the little creatures that will be going in here, it'll be really fun. I've made a pocket here. So like I said, this is still in the making, but I did want to show you what I'm working on. And this has probably been one of my most fun projects. And I'm still working on it because I'm going to do a lot of detail. Oh, this one has a pocket down here, and I'm going to have something that hangs with its little hands going up. So I really like that one, that page. And the, here's a couple of the little creatures. I wish I had the original drawing, but my grandson made these. He said this is kind of a, a um, he called it extreme cupcake, and it's human size. And he, and so I made it. Um, it, it, I made it larger and and used some of my other colors on it. And this is called Golden Foxy. This is one of his creatures. And I will be putting them in these pockets here, like so. So this is two of them right here. And as you can see, I've started finding some places for the little creatures. And there's a pocket right here as well. And some of the, some sides have color, some don't, but by the time I'm finished, it'll all have color. Now, this is an envelope uh, that I uh, that I did jelly plate printing and other layers with, and I'm going to use this to put in some of the original artwork and just keep it in there so you can see what I've done with the artwork and what I've done, how I've changed the creatures. Not completely, I, I just they look like the creatures, but I've added the colors and depth to it that I wanted to, just like I did with this little uh, foxy creature over here. He just colored it with, with you know, with a, um, oh, with colored pencils or something, but I, I wanted to even kind of go beyond that. So it's a lot of fun. Now this one, I have this really fun monster that one of my grandkids made. And I think he is just adorable. And so I made this little spot for him to uh, fit in there. And he, the reason I wanted him here is because I like, um, well, for one thing, I like 
this this piece of art right here actually inspired this crazy page as you can see on both sides the little spikes on it so i want to be i will be putting this little creature in there so that when you stand it up you can see it from the top it has all these fun colors that are on the top and to the side and if you stand it up and view it, it it's going to be a piece of art in and of itself uh, it kind of got the camera far away here. i mean too close maybe but anyway that's how i got several of these unusual uh, pages i have a place here that i'll probably be um, making this little creature uh, you know making it look like this but a little more solid with my own colors and there's also a um, another dinosaur. So those two dinosaurs. So the creature will be made in and of itself and will go in here. And there's more pockets here. I like lots of pockets. Because, oh, this one is a flip page, but it does have a pocket or two here. And there's more pockets. So I can put as many creatures in here and I have a lot. My grandchildren love to make me funny things. There's a pocket and let's see there's a pocket to the side here let's see on the side there's one here and this one is like a, a, a waterfall and i will be uh putting different creatures on here probably gluing them on here either that or using a little bit of velcro and i'll show you some of my creatures that i've worked on here and kind of what I've done. So that is my book, and I will be doing more of the pages, and I'll probably do journal with me on some of these pages so you can see it even become even crazier. But I like to put a lot of detail in these, and sometimes it takes a while to put all the detail in there. And I, like I say, I like to do the edges with a, a cranberry and black before I put on there. It's kind of like a almost a purse, but I really like that. So, so that's the book at this point. When I'm finished, I will be um, happy to show you. I've kind of finished more of the front than I have the back, as you can see. Let me pull it over into the light. It, But it just makes it beautiful to look at. I love the color. It's, But it's a crazy fun way to use your jelly plate printing and have a really whimsical, whimsical book. So I'm going to set that aside and show you some of the uh, little creatures that the kids have made me. Now, I love these little funny creatures. And like you, uh, like you can see, I put it on black and cut it out. And then this will be put in a pocket. Uh, some of these I prepared to put in pockets. And like... Here is another one of the little mermaids. And as you can see, I put on a black background, cut it out, and it'll go on the page that have those uh, great big tentacles that are like these type of tentacles from the octopus. Then this was a picture that my daughter did many, many years ago. She even put glitter on this. And I took it apart, and I'm going to cut it on here. And I will use one of those plain pages to put this on. And then it'll just bring it out and have a lot more fun color to it. It'll be cut around here. So I put it on black paper and then I put it on there. But I start out. Now here's here's that funny little robot that he made. That little golden fox save that you, I showed you in this one. And this is what I took it from. But I made this one bigger to, uh, to as you can see. And so let me show you the size differences on this one. Um, as you can see, I made it much larger. Here's the original drawing by my grandson. And here is the uh, cute um, creature that I made to look like it. And I tried to make it as close as I could to what he made. And um, so it goes in the book here. So, but I have hundreds and hundreds of pictures. Let me show you uh, what I've done with some of them. Like, I'll show you this little guy. My granddaughter made this funny little creature. 
it's quite cute, isn't it? It makes me laugh. And so I took it and uh, I kind of, because it's black and white, I felt a little more free to put the color on it that I wanted. So this will go in the little book somewhere in one of the pockets. And she made me this and I just cut that out and put it on black too. It was just, I don't know, funny little worm thing. I'm not really sure. She made me this funny little snail. And here are some of the little uh, mermaids that a couple of my other my other granddaughters made. And so I will be taking this. And this one I might, I think I will keep it a little bit. I may paint the hair. And so because I need different sizes on there, and I may get too many on there. I don't know, but I'll like it. I like this one just the way it is. They put this on. It was given to me right on white paper, just like this. And it's so cute. And it'll probably just go on one of those pages. Like here is another one of the mermaids. And I will probably take a dark pen and just fill this in just to make it be a little more clear with the color and stuff and, and the drawing. I try not to change it at all. But as you can see, this one has not been cut out. I've just put it on black. And, but I have the craziest pictures one of the, this is my grandson the, he's about 16 now but he made this when he was about 10 and this one will be fun I may even make this a little articulated and because of the fact that it's black and white it gives me a little more room to put the color I want behind it a very old picture as you can see this is clear back in 1984 and I'm not going to touch this because it's too precious but I will probably take this and make another one that looks just like it and use a little my own uh, interpretation on that and I'll show you what I do on that one here's another one of these but these are just a few now a few years ago this is my daughter made this she's 30 she's in her early 30s now but she made this when she's about four this little picture and I put it on the back but then I used my own interpretation to put it on canvas and I made one of these for each one of uh, my uh, children and grandchildren and uh, putting it on canvas. I added some uh, puffy paint. And as you can see, this is the original picture. And so I tried really hard to stay as close to this as possible and still make it, you know, use my own uh, interpretation on the backs and stuff. So that was, this was a lot of fun. I made about 20, let's see, I have 17 grandchildren and six children. So uh, I made that many for all of the children, but it was really fun to do. And it's kind of the same thing. Now I'll probably take these same little creatures, make them approximately this size and put them in there. Uh, because I just love their artwork. Children's artwork is precious to me. And I, I loved it when my children are uninhibited and I tell them that. So I thought maybe you would enjoy seeing what I'm working on. This one's going to be a lot of fun. I did a lot of work to sell and I'm getting ready to do a bunch more things to sell. But in between, I have to do something for me. And this is one of those things I'm doing for me. And I have to tell you, I've really, really enjoyed it. Now on the side here, I, um, if you look on Jenny Belly's channel, she shows you how to make these little handmade buttons with tissue paper and cardboard. And I'm probably going to make some and paint them and ink them and put them in here because I kind of think it would be fun to put some three-dimensional things like maybe here or I anywhere. So, um... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and you, uh, you can see what I'm working on, and really, I'm having a blast doing this. This has been very enjoyable for me, and sometimes I find, well, all the time I find, is that when I do a project that I like for me to please me, I like how it turns out better anyway, and other people seem to really enjoy those the best because it's kind of like the real me and I'm not trying to please somebody or make something for somebody else. Uh, 
which I don't mind, but it's this has been a lot of fun. So that's my book. I've got three signatures, if you look closely, down in there. And But you have to put a lot of room. If you make anything like this, you've got to put a lot of room. As you can see, there's a lot of room in between. And even the place in between, I added, you know, that heart was the spot in between the signatures. And boy, I just love the way this looks. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love your comments. I try to get back to you and uh, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you. Have a nice day.